And welcome back, Rosina Eikenberry, president of Not By Choice, which is known as NBC. And Kenton is our guest today. And you guys have been around for a little while. Tell us a little bit about how you got started. Um, Marsha Redder and Ron Redder, um, our co were co um, CEOs. They founded this, and um, they seen a need in not only Hardin County but the surrounding counties of just help with gas cards and. Um, we have a food bank. They felt the need of just even being there for someone to call and talk to. And so they, in 2010, they um, got the program started. So you guys service more than just Hardin County. Yes, we used to, s anybody that gave us a call, but then we had to put a cap on it. So we are Hardin County and anybody that butts up the Hardin County. So Wyandotte County, Logan County, Marion, and Allen and Hancock, we help out. Okay, and more services are there than just what meets the eye because you guys dive into wigs and other things. Yes, we do wigs. We have a food bank. Um, we have we help out um, getting the patients some wigs. We do um, brawls for the prosthetics. Um, we have uh, it's called a not a feel good feel good program and that we have the ladies come in and we kind of show them how to draw on their eyebrows those who have lost them we have um, makeup that we distribute to them we also do a angel bag which is you you yourself know cancers hit your family um, that when you go you're there for hours and so the cancer bag has like gloves hats a blanket um, uh, chapstick just little things like that um, we do, let's see, um, support groups. We, we support, um, we help, try to help people find rides because even that, you know, you don't want to be a burden to your family to where they have to miss a lot of work. So we try to help with ride shares. Um, Mm, yeah. Yeah, you guys have a, a wide variety of things that you offer, and it was very uh, resourceful for my wife and I because she went through a double mastectomy uh, a year ago, and of course we had nowhere to turn, and you were one of the first places that I found online, and you guys were great because you walked us through the process, gave us the information we needed, even gave us a gas card to help us get to our first couple of appointments. It's great to know that you have someone who's been down that journey. Yes. Marsha, who was the co-founder, she herself went through cancer and so did Ron. We unfortunately lost both of them. Um, so we are run by, it's a nonprofit organization. All of our proceeds, everything that we do is either by donation or our fundraiser, run, fundraisers. And we've also done, um, we've filed for some grants to help us out. Mm -hmm. So um, we don't turn anyone away. We try to help in any way that we possibly can. Now, for those who have used you, you're located downtown right now, but you're about to move into a new building. Yes, right now we're at um, 3 North Detroit Street in downtown Kenton. We just purchased a building. It's 116 North um, Detroit Street, so it's just up the block. Um, we are looking to, um, it is a, it's in some bad shape. So right now we're getting some donations and stuff together to help us bring the building up to code basically. So, um, but we hope to be in that building by June. All That's right. our goal. Sounds great. If anyone wants to uh, give you guys a hand, is there a phone number they can give you a call? Yes, we have 419-673-9307. And um, we also have Facebook. If you have Facebook, look up Not By Choice. Um, we have a lot of information there that can help out people. All right. Thank yes. you so much for being here today. Rosina Eikenberry of Not By Choice in Kenton. And Holly is in. She'll have a look at today's medical right after this.